Here we have a Makita 6.0 18 volt battery. This one is not feeling very well right now. If you press that button, you get a flashing light. You don't get a solid battery indicator like you should. If you try it in the charger, you think that you're going to get it. You think you've got a battery that's charging properly until a few seconds in, and then you get this flashing light. Which indicates the battery is broken. If you try it into a work control, for example, puts on the lights, but I'll not power the tool. So we've put this battery on the multimeter now to test the voltage. It's read 14.53 volts. If this battery was good, it should be reading 20 volts. So that means there's a 6 volt drop there. Right, with the four screws removed now, um, you can just take the lid off and get access to the cells. And just give them a wee pry up and get them out. Oh, there, I might hand that off. So, I just have to test the cells individually to see which are the bad ones. There seems to be a bit of corrosion there. That might be all it is. They're all coming up about 2.94 roughly. That means all the cells are a little bit low. So this this battery would be a prime cam candidate for what I would call the jump start method of uh, battery repair, which sometimes works. They're all sort of low and they're well balanced low. So I'm going to try and jump start this off another battery. See if we can get it going. The famous jump start method of reviving a battery has been well documented, well shown on YouTube. Uh, you get a good battery and you connect the positive to the positive and the negative to the negative to the old battery, uh, like this. And uh, the idea is, is to bring the voltage up of your old battery. So the charger can recognize it and charge it. And this is how you do it. You do it for a few seconds, usually. I can feel heat coming through one of these wires, which is, I always think is a good sign. If you're trying to jumpstart a battery. There's something happening there. So I'm going to try this for a little while. To see if it works. Right, I'll try to take this off now to see. And I am going to test this with the multimeter now to see if that's made any difference to the voltage, first of all. We're getting 17.23 volts, which is a lot better. I've brought it up from 14.53 to 17. Point two three. So the next thing is to throw it in the charger to see if it's going to go. Just give this a few seconds to see if it throws up the flashing light. Ah, it's still no good. That fix hasn't worked. There must be something wrong with the circuit board as well. Conclusion what I found out is the cells in this battery are good But the PCB board is faulty and Doesn't allow the cells to be charged by the charger It doesn't allow the cells to power the tool even if you bring up the voltage like I did I'm going to have to order a new board for this and show you how to replace it in the next video This may take a week or two But until then keep liking subscribing and commenting and have a great day